Hey, what is going on, guys? Time to scroll out 2001 here, bringing you another Pokemon showdown video for you guys today. And today, I am taking a look at another Generation 2 random battle. But before we get into it, I just, uh, I just like to say that Generation 2 is the most annoying generation of all. Literally, the amount of times that I have tried to get a match where I could actually win and the amount of Pokemon on both mine and the opposing team that had return, rest and sleep talk was absurd. It reached to the point where th there was one match I had like four Pokemon with the exact same moveset, that being Sleep Talk, um, Rest, another support move, and a low damage dealing move. I played like 15 matches before I could play this match where I actually won. And lo and behold, this is the only match out of those 15 matches that I played that didn't have sleep talk or rest. I did get a Pokemon on this team that had return, but I don't mind because return is actually pretty good. But sleep talk and rest, absolutely annoying and it pissed me off really badly. But, that is in the past. And hopefully in future I do not get any more sleep talk, rest months from generation 2. But, let's get right into this match and see how it goes. Alright, uh, straight off the bath, we both end up leading a bomb. Which I did not expect. Alright, uh, the, uh, I believe we should be at a speed tie, because I think, I think, uh, both of our A-Poms are running the exact same set. So, uh, but he wins the speed tie mostly. Um, so he's a Shadow Ball. And then I use Curse, depleting my speed, and raising my, uh, special attack and defense. He uses Shadow Ball again while I use Agility. He switches into Rhydon. I used Agility again. And then I use Return. Uh, it doesn't do much. He uses Earthquake. doesn't do much to me either. Next day, I switch into Polyrath. And he uses Sleep Talk. He switches into Fortress. And I use Belly Drum. Body Slam doesn't do much. And he uses Spikes. He, uh, I use Earthquake, one-shotting the Fortress, and then I also one-shot the Ampharos. Crobat comes in, he uses Giga Drain, taking me down low. I use Body Slam, almost taking him down to red. He takes me down to red with Giga Drain, and then I uh, get rid of him with Body Slam. The A-Pump comes back in, and I get taken out with Shadow Ball. I bring my A-Pump back in. Another mirror match once again. He uses return and critical hits me, taking down my impalm. I bring in executor. He uses return again, dealing some decent amount of damage. I use stun spore, paralyzing him. I'm now quicker. I use hidden power. I don't know what hidden power it was. I don't remember. Not doing much damage though. Then I use psychic, taking him down below half. He uses shadow ball, taking me down to the yellow. Then I explode, taking him out and sacrificing myself. He brings in Alkazam, I bring in Togekiss. I mean Togetic. Uh, he uses uh, Ice Punch while I use Curse. He uses Fire Punch, not doing much. I use Double Edge, taking him down below half. 
Fire Punch again, not doing much. I use Double Edge again. KO in the Alakazam. His Raidon comes back in, his final Pokemon. I am immune to Earthquake. Double Edge doesn't do much. Next turn, he rocks Light Super Effective, KO in my Togetic. I bring in Mr. Mime. I use Psychic, critical hit, bringing him down to one shot range. He uses Earthquake, taking me down to yellow. And then I take him down with Psychic. And that is the victory done. I mean, that is the battle done, giving me the victory. Now, uh, we did see one of his mounts with Sleep Talk, which I believe was the Rhydon. So, like I said, Every single battle, sleep talk, return, rest, those were the only three moves I was seeing constantly. Every single battle, those are the only three moves I kept seeing on every single Pokemon, and it genuinely pissed me off. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think of uh, those three moves down below. And if they have ever pissed you off in the past, sleep, talk, rest, and return. Surely, surely got me angry. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you have not. Turn on notifications so you do not miss any future videos or live streams. Click the link in the description. It will take you straight to all of my individual social links. My name is Starring the Scholar 2001 and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, and as always, have a great one. See you all later. Goodbye.